Sweden has inaugurated a pilot electric road that charges vehicles as they drive. The test site was opened on the 4th of June in the city of Lund. The patented technology developed by the Swedish company Ellen Rodeb, with Lund University, transmits up to 300 kilowatts of power to the vehicle through a retractable pickup that drags along a metal rail embedded in the road. From now to 2022, an electric bus will run the route, called Evolution Road, one week a month to test the system. The high-tech electric road concept charges all types of electric vehicles when parked as well as when driving. Ellen Road's concept involves a conductive rail. It can be laid on top of the road or merged down. The on-top version is 4 cm high and 35 cm wide with inclined sides of only 10 degrees to make it smooth when changing lanes. It's glued to the asphalt via mounting plates. The submerged rail is merged down into the asphalt, has a flat top aligned with the surrounding asphalt. It's 25 cm wide and 5 cm deep. The pickup connects to the electric road. It's placed under the vehicle and offers an economic and simple solution for all types of vehicles. The car-mounted pickup is only 2 cm high and can be retrofitted under revs. For an electric bus and trucks the pickup is bigger. The height is 5 to 6 cm and 240 cm in length. It slides along the rail and transfer the current up to the vehicle. With three sliding contacts in a smart arrangement it reaches plus and minus poles simultaneously. An onboard DC slash DC converter charges the batteries when using the electric road. All vehicles will have batteries that will supply energy for driving on non-electric roads. The electric road is a charging infrastructure placed on major roads and highways. The rail is built in intervals. Batteries take over automatically at exits and roundabouts. The electric road concept reduces the need of heavy and expensive batteries by 20 to 70%. It depends on the distance between electric roads and destination. The electric road is an effective range extender. The rail can deliver up to 300 kilowatts while driving. This is enough for a long-haul truck to power both propulsion and charging at the same time. For example, one kilometer of driving on the electric road transfers energy to drive three kilometers. Two of those kilometers count after the truck has left the electric road. This saves investment costs for the infrastructure. Working together with the onboard battery, electric roads only needs to be placed on 30 to 50 percent of the stretch for infinite driving range. The rail is powered by power stations located at the side of the road. Each station is capable of delivering up to 3 megawatts to the rail, which is enough for 10 trucks running on the connected electric road. The power station is connected to the grid every 1 km and transforms grid voltage from 10 kV to 600 volts DC. In that way energy losses are minimized. The rail can be heated to melt snow and ice when needed. To remove snow from the road, Ellen Road has developed a special snow plow. It can remove the snow as a regular plow. It's been tested in Swedish winter conditions. In the case of a road surfaces covered with sludge and road salt that conduct current, leakage currents are prevented placing an earth pledge out towards the asphalt. In addition, a control measurement is performed so that power can be safely switched on. The on-top mounted rail stands on grooved rubber so that rainwater can easily flow under the rail as the asphalt usually slopes a little to the side. In October 2018, Ellen Road met with Hydro to discuss delivery of an extruded aluminum profile that could contain electronics and a rail for charging electric cars while driving. Such a profile would need to be precisely machined along its entire length as well as its top and bottom, so that the electronics, cables, positive leads could be fitted and the rail mounted. Hydro's aluminium manufacturing plant in Waitland Dar began delivery of the unique product this year. It has supplied 500 meters of the road profile as well as 1000 meters of positive leads as finished components. These processed components correspond to 500 meters of electrified road. Behind the initiative is a private-public Swedish consortium, Evolution Road, funded by the Swedish Transport Administration. Also involved are, Innovation Skåne AB, Kraft Ringen Energy AB, Lund Municipality, Faculty of Engineering at Lund University, Rambol, Scanetrofiken, Solaris Svaria AB and the Swedish National Road and Transport Research Institute, VTI.